In the last episode, we witnessed just how effective Dawa is in even the remotest places in Africa. But as you know, new Muslim aftercare is essential. So we visited a few of the villages to see how they're coming along. The message of Islam continues to spread among the many villages in Uganda. But most new Muslims live many miles apart, making it difficult for them to get the vital knowledge they need. Thanks to the Boda Boda, aka motorcycles, our instructors are slowly shrinking the distances between them. But how does it affect community learning? So, for example, there's a house over there. Uh huh. So, yeah, it's here. So then they'll have to go to another new they'll Muslim. They'll have to go house. to another new Muslim, uh, which is uh, difficult. But with motorbikes, they can actually. We had planned that uh, they, we, we choose like here and there. We get one home. The, the other ones come like ten homes, ten people gather, and then the OS will be there with them. Another one like that. If there are like uh, thirty homes, we make them into three groups. Those are three OS. They spend with them time. But we need also motorbikes, inshallah. But alhamdulillah, the motorbikes are approved. Three more, inshallah. Alhamdulillah, uh, we're here in Africa, deep in the villages. You can see the type of houses people are sleeping, living in, alhamdulillah. Remember the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa said that Islam will, will be delivered, will, be, will enter in every household, even if the house is made of grass, mud or anything. So these are the houses people are living in. Many of them have been Christians, others have been, been practicing any religion right now. Inside these houses, people are taking, taking shahada, you're going to see many of them and and they are going to be making swala in these houses, making dhikri in these houses. Yet uh, it wasn't here. So alhamdulillah, this is a prophecy which is being fulfilled. Multitudes of people are entering Islam in, in, in all the types of houses people are living in. Lifestyles, alhamdulillah, be part of this. Assalamu alaikum. New Muslim spot checks are absolutely crucial in order for us to maintain a high standard and keep up the quality of work that we do. They're needed so we can identify any areas of development that's required. So, uh, ask them how many people are uh, new Muslim checks? How many people? Yeah. They're saying they are all new. Okay. When did they accept Islam? Why did they accept Islam? Uh, two months, one month, three months. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Can I have one sister maybe stand up? Tell her to read Fatiha. Also, we look so much. Alhamdu. Why you get a job, sister? Three weeks. Three weeks, huh? She hasn't. She doesn't know Fatiha. Can I get this brother? Also, sister, Muka. He has come to share. He has come to Okay. So him. Even who? Even this one. This one? Yeah, the sisters in the back, the, the, the red hijab, the red. I didn't the sister. This brother? Brother, do you know? Oh, money? This one, this one. Not this one. This one? Oh, you got to some of them? Why are you going to do this? Where is it going? She embraces them this one. And this brother? I think we said. How long? What's his name? What's his name? Kadu. Where's Gum? One man. What's up? 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 What's Okay, that one over there. Yeah, I am. What's her name? What's her name? Amazina Niwa. Yeah, you made it. You made it. You made it. No, my yaksoma. 
She doesn't want to. Okay. Halas. So clearly, this is, uh, they need a lot of work. Yeah. Hmm? So there is clearly a problem here. If you've been here for two months and if this is what's happening, this is something we need to work on. Inshallah. Okay. This, uh, the team hmm. could go and, and get them from their villages, hmm. uh, get them, hmm. so that's why you can see them. But you okay. cannot, you couldn't find a, 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 a hmm. Muslim, no Adhan, no Salah. So for two months, they have been having classes here in this place? Eh? They are having classes, but if today they come 10, tomorrow they come 9, the other day they come 15. So the mm. boys have to go to the gardens, mm. they're digging and then teaching them. Mm. I, I mean, the ones who are here, they, they don't, they're not very strong. They're very weak. Does she know Fatia? Omanya, this is me. So I guess she can try. Okay. So she knows something. Yeah. It became clear that the brothers and sisters were struggling to attend the essential classes that had been arranged for them. But Ustad Adnan's approach was to deliver a beautiful reminder, one that would put them back on track. Brothers and sisters, thank you very much for your time. Some of you are new Muslims and we want to make sure that you learn about Islam. It is the fastest growing religion in the world because it's the truth. It's very simple. It teaches us to believe in one God Allah, Allah, who was worshipped by Moses, Jesus, and Muhammad, all of them. And there is no other God. No human being. No tree. No stone. No monkey. No elephant. It's God. There is only one God who is above the heavens who created all of us. Do you all agree with that? Yes. Do you all understand that? Yes. How many gods are there? One. One. How do you say in the local language God is one? Om. Hmm? Katonda Om. Hmm? Katonda Om. Mm. Katonda Om. Mm. Yes? Okay? Yes. There is only one God. So we have to worship Him. Because He is the biggest being. There's no one bigger than him. He's the one who sends rain. He's the one who gives us sunshine. He's the one who gives us our fields. He's the one who gives us health. And he's the one who gave us children. So only him deserves to be worshipped. So don't worship anyone else. You are beautiful. You are a beautiful people with beautiful children. So this baby. Oh no, 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 this 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 baby is beautiful Allah. and Allah created this baby God created this baby no one else that's why we worship him because he, he gives us children he gives us parents he gives us families he gives us everything we have so we have to worship him okay and thank you Okay, because we have everything. Don't ever think you have nothing. You have everything. You have everything you need. That's why we have to thank him. Most importantly, you have happiness. People in Africa are happy. And other people in other parts of the world are not happy. They are depressed. Because they are away from God. They are distant from God. Happiness is only with God. So worship Allah and you will be happy. Do you all agree? Yes. So are you going to be Muslim? Yes.
strong. You will pray. Yes. You will learn. Yes. So that you can teach your children. Yes. And I want this baby to know how to pray. Yes. <laughs> Inshallah. Takbir. Allah. Try to learn every day. So that you can become better Muslims. There's a masjid being built next door. All of you have to come to the masjid. Learn from the teachers. And make yourself strong. So, so your, ch your children can remain Muslim. Okay, it, it doesn't make sense that you go to Jannah and your children go to hellfire. Okay. Okay, so we all want to go to Jannah, inshallah. Thank you so much for listening to me. Mwe bare bare nyo. Mwe 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 bare nyo. Okay. Shukran. Salaam alaikum wa rahmatullah. Inshallah. Jazakallah. Takbir. Allah. Allah said in the Quran, and remind, for indeed the reminder benefits the believers. Why? Why? Why did they accept Islam? Ask them. I want to know. What made them accept Islam? One by one. Okay. Okay. Uh, I abuza motuwe experience. Why do you want to know? Islam. I never come to know. Islam. Yes. He says in, in church, for them, they don't have a holy place. Hmm. When, when he comes, even if it's mud or what, he hmm. goes with the shoes and hmm. gets into hmm. the, the masjid. Hmm. But they told the old prophet used to remove their shoes to the hmm. holy places. Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. They taught about prophets, prophets being born when they are praying for them, where they, he was, nothing is done there. Subhanallah. Yeah. Takbir. He says they bow for the human beings, but uh, in Islam we are taught to bow for only Allah. Yes. Yeah. So how does he feel as a Muslim? No huru takubangu riyum siram. He feels very okay. He says, bring more people to teach them, Inshallah. to retain them. Yeah, Inshallah. Yeah. Does he want to learn? No, no, no. Very, very much, very much. Yeah. Inshallah. Yeah. Inshallah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Well, we are going to go. He used to believe that, that the Bible is a book of God. Uh -huh. 
He says whenever they could bring verses of maybe like worship and so forth, but they never read them the entire life of theirs in the Christianity. But when they read the, this, the Bible, the prophets used to pro, pro, pray like they prostrating. Oh. He has never seen them, but when, okay. he, when he, he got that truth, mm. he said that he has. Takbir. Takbir. He says, uh, like praying, prostrating, putting the head down uh, while praying. He mm. says, it's, it's there in the Bible, but the pastors never told to them. So mm. it, it is Islam that has told them in the Bible, their own Bible. Allahu Akbar. So he also embraced Islam. He went back home. He told his family, please follow this religion, the right religion. They also followed him. So the whole family also embraced Islam. There were many more beautiful Shahada stories, and the visit ended with some of the new Muslims reciting Surah Fatiha for us. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Arrahmanur Rahim Maliki Yawmiddin Iyaka na'abdu wa iyaka nasta'in Hiddina sirat wa yamusta'in Sirat wa alladhina an'amta alayhim Gairi li magathubi alayhi li mwaladari Amin When Allah's help comes and the victory is achieved and you see the people embracing Allah's way in crowds then glorify the praises of your Lord and seek his forgiveness for certainly he is ever accepting of repentance When we first came into this village, first time that we came into this village, it had only three Muslims. And uh, they were Muslims by name, they were not practicing because they did not understand the deen, because there was nobody to teach them the deen. And there were just the three of them. And in just two months, mashallah, in just two months we have more than a hundred Muslims in this village. As you can see, we've gathered all of them here together and we're going to be talking to them today, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. I am very happy that you've welcomed us to your village. There's so many beautiful souls here. And I can feel the people here, they have a love of God. And I feel that the people here are happy. Is that true? Yes. 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 <laughs> Islam teaches there is no true happiness except by having a relationship with God. Islam teaches there is none worthy of worship except Allah. Islam teaches we do not worship a tree, we do not worship a stone, we do not worship a human. We worship God who created everything and that this life is very short and the true life is the life of the hereafter and that when we worship God alone we obey God we love God, we trust God we have fear of God, we have awe of God we are mindful of God Allah gives us happiness of the heart. Allah gives us peace of the heart. And when we turn away from God, then we have nothing but sadness in our hearts. And there are people out there in the world who have everything. They are very rich, but they don't have God. They have alcohol, they have money, they have houses, they have cars. 
And they don't have a relationship with God. So God has put sadness into their hearts. You are better than those people. Allah has gifted you with faith, with Iman. Allah doesn't want perfection from you, but He wants you to have progress and to try. And we're here to help you in your journey to Islam. So Islam The reason is because we believe in La ilaha illallah, you believe in La ilaha illallah, so we are one family. Now I want, what I want to do is to ask you questions just to see how the progress is and to see what your needs are. So, I want to ask you a question. I'm going to ask you a question. I'm going to ask you a question. I'm going to do a little test to see how our teachers have been teaching you. I'm going to ask you a question. I'm going to ask you a question. Don't be shy. Okay. So, who became Muslim in the last two months? Two months. Okay. Two months. So, uh, the lady in the black hijab with the white thing, can you ask her uh, to uh, recite Fatiha? Uh, Fatiha. The name is the one with the white. And a white one, I can't get that. Hey, you're the Bismillah, Rahman, Rahim, Alhamdulillah, Rabbi, Halamin. Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Malik Yawmidin Hiyaka Nahabur wa Hiyaka Nazdahin Ihdina Sirat wa Al-Musdaqim Sirat wa Al-Ladhina Hanhamta Halahim Gairi Al-Mahdubi Halahim Waladwalim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. <laughs> He dina sirat wal mustahim, sirat wal radina al amta alahim, gairil makdubi alahim, wala duali amin. It's incredible to think that just a short while ago, these beautiful people were the furthest you can get from Allah because of their practice of shirk. But now they've become a people who love Allah and take great pleasure in getting closer to him. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to test the younger ones. The team were elated to see what the youngsters had been taught by their families. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Alhamdulillah ar-Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Maniki ya'widin Iyaka nahburu wa iyaka nasahin Ihdina sirata al-Musahim Sirata al-Ladina an-amta lahim Gairin magdubi Ahim waladwa Ameen So, uh, we're going to be going. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Gindo Kony, yeah, 
Oui, il y en avait. But we are going to leave the new Muslim teachers here in the village to teach you. Oh, I call Puyini can meme de Puyu. What we would like is for our relationship to continue long term, inshallah. We will, inshallah, keep the teachers coming to the villages, inshallah. Keep learning. <laughs> keep getting closer to Allah. Learn Islam properly. Tell us about your teachers. And teach others about Islam, other people in your family who have not accepted Islam. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, convey from me even if it is one verse. So, strengthen your Islam by strengthening your knowledge and then teach the community around you about Islam. May Allah bless you. Where are we going? To Judge's home. We're going to Judge's home, yeah. One mile down the road, all this is his land. Okay. So it's from this that he's donated uh, two acres for us to build a masjid because there's no masjid in this village completely. Sheikh Said, how did you feel when you saw these uh, new Muslim villages? Oh, mashallah, I was I was happy, especially with the fact that we uh, we walked into this village when it has only three Muslims, and now we have almost a hundred Muslims. It, it's a big achievement. I'm really really impressed, and we'll, we'll keep on. You know, now that we have a big number of Muslims, we can't just leave them like that. We'll with, keep on teaching them. Within what space of time was that? Two months. Two in just months. Two months. Yeah. So from Alhamdulillah, in just two months, they are close to a hundred Muslims. The majority of them are sisters. So. Uh, they're already attending their new Muslim classes. They have, they, they, they have learned how to recite the Quran, how to pray, and we'll be providing them with thobes and then the hijabs to encourage them and to motivate them. So we are not leaving this village because we still have uh, a lot of work to do, and there's still hope that we'll be able to get more. This month only, uh, we've got a total of 53 new Muslim converts this month. So this village? We, yeah, in this village. So we're going to spend more time here because uh, there's a lot of hope in this village. This is indeed why we're here, to help the community towards beautiful moments like this. The moment you speak this word, God forgives you all your sins. It's like you have been born afresh. So they are going to speak this word. It is the one that makes you a Muslim. And all Muslims, upon uh, all, all human beings, we live here temporarily. After a few years, we're going to die. When you die as a Muslim, you go to paradise, a very beautiful place where you're going to live forever as a king, as a queen, without death, without poverty, without getting sick. A very beautiful place. So this, the sisters are going to speak this word. Can you do this like this, sisters, mama? And you repeat after me. Ashihadu. Allah ilaha. Illa Allah. Wa ashihadu. Anna. Muhammada. Rasulullah. Tafsir, I believe with my heart. Tafsir, I believe with my heart. Tafsir. And believe with, I believe with my heart. Without being forced. That there's only one true God. Called Allah. And I believe that Prophet Muhammad is his messenger. And that Prophet Jesus is God is messenger. Is messenger. Jesus, is not God. Jesus is not God. That is not a son of God. But is a messenger of God. <laughs> Allah. Allah. I have become a Muslim. Become a Muslim. May Allah strengthen me in Islam. Takbir! <laughs> With these five new Muslims, uh, the five sisters who have accepted Islam, they'll be joining the new Muslim class too. So hopefully next time when we, when we come back, they're going to be better Muslims than they are right now because they'll be reciting the Quran. They can pray. They can uh, get ablution. Is this? Is it? Hey, from around from that tree.
This is the land that has been kindly donated by our beloved brother George. He has given away two acres of his own private estate so that a masjid can be built and that Allah can be worshipped en masse on his doorstep. We wanted to know why he did it. Why Why did he feel like he needed to try, uh, to donate his land? He has given this land because uh, the Muslims have taught him that God is only one. So he wants to give this land to Allah. Uh, Allah. Allah has kept him for 83 years. The way you see. Yeah. And um, how did it feel like when he embraced Islam? What? How did it feel like? He is a Muslim. He is a Muslim. He so for long he has been sick and nobody has ever shown him the truth but when he came to Islam they told him that God is only one so he now feels uh, tranquility in his heart okay and, yeah. and you know when the hadith was explained to him about if he if you build a house in on this earth a house would be done uh, there will be a house for him in Jannah what did you think about that? Ni karma wano ko bijani kai ni miulo ni kiti eka ota geri ota ba oba geri ota ba rubi. Iwi ni ngo. Awi ya be. Ni na na ba ngo ba me ami ami ni kita wati polo. Oh, when we want the other one now, heaven, not this one here. Okay. So when he had the hadith, he felt so great. He felt so great when they told him about the hadith, and that inspired him, and he felt he has lived in he has lived in this world for long, and at his age, he's left little time in this world. So he felt now I need another house in Jana where I'm heading to. And that's what motivated him into donating the land so that they can construct the masjid and he can have a house for himself in Jana. Stop raining. This has been an incredible trip. Together, we've witnessed a paradigm shift where a people who call upon others than Allah have learnt his name and now glorify the lands of Africa with it. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. La ilaha illallah. Join us next time where George delivers a very important and personal message to you. <laughs>